Hi, this is Gabe Barbas, and this is NJ Rep Online, the stage less traveled. I'm Zaid Dorn, I'm the writer of Sick. I wrote the play Sick in, uh, in Beijing, and I think I was just thinking a lot about how strange it is to be uh, an outsider in a place like that. At the same time, I had come from New York where we were dealing with the post 9-11 thing, and Beijing happened to be going through their post-SARS epidemic period, so there were people walking around with masks on their faces and scared of touching each other and things like that, so that contributed, I think, to the whole idea of isolation in the play. This play was initially performed in Texas, then uh, is going to be in New Jersey, but it's also in New Orleans at the, around the same time. And in New Orleans, the context is all about post-Katrina, and everybody understands the play there to be about um, the pollution and the asbestos and everything that's still lurking on the streets of New Orleans, which wasn't in my mind as I wrote it, but certainly the way the world changes, you know, you hope that your work uh gets added sort of dimensions and levels and layers because of what's going on around. To me, I try to root it as much as I can in just what I think is actually happening at the moment, and you hope that if you do a good job of that, it will kind of have continued resonance and relevance as it goes forward. I mean, I certainly was writing it for a very specific time period, but I thought as I was working on it, well, the issue of um, fear and, uh, and paranoia and wanting to close off from the world is not going away. In fact, it seems to be uh, something that's accelerating, if anything. Some of the characters in the play are young writers, which is obviously familiar to me. One of the characters is an older writer, which is somebody I come across in my life a lot. Um, and, you know, the, the whole idea, I think, of a guy coming into this new situation, a bunch of strangers for a dinner party that turns out to be incredibly awkward and weird and strange is something we've all experienced. So I drew on that sort of feeling. My family never pressured me to, to have any kind of political orientation in my writing. I think I've always been more interested in art than activism, um, more interested in kind of exploring the world through writing than through politics. But in a way, they come around to the same thing, which is you're trying to understand the world, you're trying maybe to change the world, you're trying to um, put something out there that will get people thinking. And so I don't think of my work as overtly political in any kind of didactic, like concrete sense, but I do think that um, I try to write about things that are important in the world at the moment, and that tends to have, if not a political message, at least a political resonance to it. NJ Rep offers a unique subscription plan. For less than 50 cents a day, you can have a whole year of theater. That's less than a cup of coffee a day.